Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm here with my Mark III Audi TT, which is stage three tuned. It's rear brake day today, because as you can see, they're looking pretty knackered and the pads are pretty much gone, which might explain the strange noise I've been getting. Right, let's head to the garage. Right guys, see, I don't know if you can hear this noise. That's the noise I'm getting. And we check wheel bearings and all sorts of stuff, but it's still there and we reckon, I reckon it's the, the brake discs. Right, I'm here. Here's Michael. Yeah. Hard at work. It's got some interesting stuff going on down here. Look, look at all these batteries. Started doing EV repairs now. Got him totally hooked on the e-bike thing as well. Right, okay, let's show you the discs that I've got. So these are from rotor discs basically, and they were so cheap. They were like 90 quid for a pair. Um, drilled and grooved. So, I mean, on the TT, on this TT, which is just a normal TT, it's not a TTS or RS, you have um, basically single discs. They're not vented or anything like that. They're, so they're called solid discs, basically. Um, so I was trying to find some that would match the front, because on the front, I've actually got um, these club sport ones, which are obviously got, you know, drilled, and I've got the TTS calipers on there. Um, but rather than just go for something stock, which work absolutely fine, I've been running that for about a year now and they work absolutely fine, I thought I'd go for something like this. Um, I don't know if these are going to be any good, we're just going to, I mean for the price I'm just going to try it and just try them and just see what happens so I can let you guys know if they're any good. But they actually look really good. You know, all of this is painted so that won't corrode, that's a problem that happens on, on, the, on the standard brakes, you get all of this, I've painted all that with hammer right, to try and kind of make it look better but these come with all this already done so it's actually a black phosphate coat in it it says so yeah we're gonna whack them on might hear a bit of noise from this I, I don't know um pads wise obviously we need the new pads michael's found some of these padged racing so these are like street plus they're called street plus by padged racing look pretty decent um they were these were about 120 pounds so yeah, again, it was, this is a new product, I think he was saying. So we're going to test that out as well. Curbs, there's always the test bed for new stuff. Do it into these, Michael. We will see. We'll see. How long to stay? Cheap metal. Yeah. A cheap, I mean, it's, it is cheap, a cheap disc. How much are the normal discs for this? They're probably like... Normal disc is about 45 feet each. Okay. So maybe they've just, you know, taken that, those standard ones and... Well, or they've all standard ones and uh, just made it in Russia. Don't look too bad quality wise. The coatings, obviously, I don't know how long this will last, but it would be better than what's on there as standard because that just rusts, rusts so bad. We'll see what happens. It's probably China, isn't it? It's probably a China product. Yeah, AliExpress. <laughs> AliExpress special. <laughs> Those pads as well, we'll test. I mean, these cars are so light, aren't they? I shouldn't imagine most of much braking happens on the rear anyway, does anyway, it? Anyway, the rear doesn't brake. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Front. Yeah, it's the front one, isn't it? All the weight's going to the front, and this, yeah. this car's so lightweight anyway. So you can sit on there, brake pad change, and then that just releases the pistons, is it? Yeah. It's taken a long time to do, hasn't it? What, is it just open the calipers completely? Yeah, open the calipers complete, we mm. can just push this and look. Just took the spacers off, so I'm running, if anyone's interested, I'm running Bimek spacers on it. Nice. So whilst the disc is off, I think we're going to paint this as well, see look a bit yeah we can look a bit crap don't they get a bit of black on there lovely job good as new yeah and that's dry and matte it's good that what paints that <laughs> high coat vhc black it's up to 650 degrees yeah, you can go for track day <laughs> new one going on Sharp. Just need to get those calipers painted now. So the padgy bracing pads. Yeah, you can race on street. <laughs> Where else is there a race? I never see that padgy street racing. 
great, but I hope we'll suit you up. These pads are 125 quid, so they cost more than the discs. <laughs> so hopefully, yeah, they should be pretty good um, if that's anything to go by. Give the calipers a bit of a buff up. Take a bit of rust off. First off. Make sure we can remove the wheels. Give the spacers a little bit of a coat. Yeah, too much. Break this. Spacers on. Look at that, guys. Looks really nice. Wheels on. That is a big improvement, isn't it? Do the other side now. Other one's done now. It's just set in the uh, set in the brake position again. That just looks so good now. Obviously, you know, I should really get those painted, but I kind of like the silver look anyway. Really, it kind of makes it look like when you see the fronts, you go, "Oh, that's a TT TTS." But then you look at the back and go, mm, "Hang on, no, it must must have some stuff done to it." It's Michael's G Wiz. He's completely redone all the battery system in that, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> we need to. I need to bring the Twizy out. We can have a little electric meet-up. Yeah, but you need some extension. I need some batteries. more batteries, yeah, I do, I do. So just having a little go in the G-Wiz. It's pretty good, actually. <laughs> I think the, the Twizy's definitely got more, more torque, but this has got a big old battery in it. This has got like a 400 amp hour battery in it. So we're talking about doing that to the Twizy as well. Um, you know, getting get a bit of extra range. He can get about 150 miles range out of this or something. Or well, probably more actually. But this actually is a pretty, pretty nifty little wagon. Just what you want in these ridiculous ULES times and all this stuff. It's got some funky rear lights on there as well, LED. You've mod modernised it. Definitely looks so much better than they do as standard. weather on the way home guys I don't think it's fixed that sound so that is a little bit concerning um, I'm gonna have to do some more we'd have to do some more digging around to see what that sound is it could be the blooming rear diff I hope not but anyway anyway brakes look good obviously they've got a bed in a little bit I won't be too hard on them um, and then I'll let you know guys you know how they how they sort of go over time and um, we won't know yet Got to do a little car park shot on the way home. Whose alarm's going off? They do look much better. I think these discs definitely set off the whole look. Just an extra bit of detail. Right guys, that's it for this one. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that stuff, and I'll catch you next time.